but the most interesting thing I found with thread modeling is that, and this is something I'll, I'll recommend for you guys to do, is like the, the, the message on thread modeling actually is not to the security teams, right? You know, although yeah. thread modeling is a side effect, I, I mm -hmm. view thread modeling as a technique to document and to create a, a real world view of the application where one of the side effects is security risks, correct? But the most yes. important side effect is actually how the thing works, right? Yeah. And, and, and that's a sweet spot because you ask anybody, do you understand how that product works? Do you understand how that bit you're doing works? Do you understand that flow? Do you understand that pipeline? Most likely no. they start showing you the code or they start doing a drawing, right? And you no. go, uh, and even if they have one, you know, you, you go, is that is that up to date, right? You know, it's like, yeah. oh no, you know, it's now of, of yeah. whatever, right? Um, yeah. So and then you ask them, do you want it, right? Like, do you find that, you know, you would like to have one when you're debugging or you're adding a new feature or you're talking about which feature is easy to add versus, you know, or what, what even to create a brief, right? Like, you know, I find that my challenge is that until you've done a threat model, you can't mm -hmm. effectively write mm -hmm. a brief, right? You know, how the hell do you know what you're coding on, right? Like, you know, how do you know yeah. the interconnections, the stuff? So I think threat model, it's a really sweet spot because uh, especially the way you, if, if you're doing different ways, right? But it allows you to ask really good questions, right? Which sometimes right. on a normal architecture diagram, you wouldn't ask mm -hmm. because you go, oh, that's out of scope, right? Where in security, right. there's, nothing is out of scope, right? So, so threat right. modeling allows you to have layers. And, and I'm a big fan of doing threat modeling in layers where you mm -hmm. go by the use case and by the, almost by the, the context that mm -hmm. you, know, you got there. But I think threat modeling can add crazy value 